FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. Let's go. Welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Pacific Drive on Steam Deck Steam OS. And I'm going to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC to see, you know, if we get any performance gains. Is it good? And what I'll go do is I'm going to play the game without the mod like I am right now. So right now I don't have any mods on. This is just the game on my Steam Deck, Steam OS. And then later I'm going to turn the mod on. Show you there. And then finally I'll take you to my Steam Deck's desktop mode and I'll show you how to install the mod. Okay, and on the top left corner you can see I've got the FPS counter. It's currently doing like 40-ish 50, which isn't too bad. I'll show you my settings. Okay, if I go to video. Okay, borderless window. And then screen percentage 100, VSync off, motion blur off, anti-aliasing. I'm using FXAA. All right, and then I've turned everything on to low. Yeah, and then all this is default settings. These are the defaults. These were default on ultra. I turned them all to low. Okay, so that's my settings. And I've got um, prior utilities on, recommended settings, 4 gigabytes of VRAM. And I'm on the latest stable release of Steam OS, which is 3.5.17. And uh, if you take a look at my Steam Deck settings, performance tab, I've just disabled frame limit, and that's it. And for um, power tools, I've just set um, SMT on, eight threads. I think I need to move my camera. Okay, eight threads, SMT on, and then governor set to performance. That's it. All right. Okay. Go back to the game. So yeah, you get like... 40-ish frame. Sometimes it drops into the 30s. Uh, nothing too special. Uh, if you set them all to low, it does run. Not too bad. But now, let me toggle on the mod. Okay, so I'm going to exit the game. I've done all the like mod settings, like move the files, the mod files. I just need to I'll go on the launch options like this and I'm going to enable the mod. Okay, I'll show you how to do that later on desktop mode. But right now, let's toggle on the mod. We should see a mod window like this. That's trying to like hook up with the game, the mod and the game. So the mod is on right now. And you can see the difference in the settings menu. Yeah, Unreal Engine. Take note of that because there's a special setting for Unreal Engine games. Okay, if you go to settings, go to video. See, now we've got DLSS. This isn't really DLSS. It's because I've got the mod on. It thinks I'm using an NVIDIA display card. All right, this is actually turning on FSR 3.0. So set it to quality. And then, yeah, everything else is the same. And I'm just going to apply. Yes. Yeah, let's play the game again. And yeah, we should see a difference. We should see a difference. Okay, you can see the FPS. It's at the stable 60 right now. But there is a little drawback. We do have a little bit of like uh, UI flickering. You see that? See the UI? Yeah. We have flickering. But uh, but it does feel smoother. I'm not sure if you can like see the difference or feel the difference through the um, YouTube screen. But um, oops. But uh, in real life, it does feel a little bit smoother because it's a stable 60 right now. So if you can ignore the UI flickering, this might be a good way. Personal preference. I personally, I don't like the UI flickering. So um, I'll try to play at a lower 
FPS. Um, but I haven't played much of this game on the Steam Deck. When it's came, it like it's been out for a while. Uh, I played a little bit of it. Uh, it doesn't run too well on the Steam Deck, so and there was a lot of like survival genre games this year. So yeah, oops, oops, I'm doing really bad. Doing really bad. But yes, yeah, stable 60 FPS right now. I think it does uh, drop to the 50s later on. But yeah, still pretty good. Still pretty good. So if you've already paid for this mod, yeah, I forgot to mention that this mod is not free. Currently uh, in beta and it's uh, it's a paid mod. And if you've already paid for it, you know, and you have this game, you might as well try it out. But this mod works good with some other games like Spider-Man, um, Alan Wake, Who, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Hogwarts Legacy, Cyberpunk. Yeah, a lot of games work really well with this game, uh, with this mod, but uh, not all games. Mostly the games that have built-in frame generation support, those work really well. Because that like eliminates the the UI flickering. And I've been getting a lot of questions asking me whether this mod works for all games. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, there's some prerequisites. The game needs to support DirectX 12 and also have like built-in FSR or DLSS support. It really needs that. And if, if it even has like frame generation, like I said, like if it has built-in frame generation support, uh, then it works really well. If it doesn't, uh, I think you need it needs to be fixed like game by game basis. Like some games has been fixed like uh, Hogwarts Legacy. When that came out, it had a lot of UI flickering and then yeah, it got fixed, which is really cool. I think I'm getting out of the car soon. So I'll show you a bit of the gameplay when I'm out of the car. And then maybe we can just go back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. So if you like the video so far, please hit that thumbs up button. Like this video, it really helps out the channel. And you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We talk a lot about gaming handouts, especially the Steam Deck. We talk a lot about mods, cheats, trainers, emulation, stuff like that. If that's your thing, yeah, please consider subscribing and you know, get more of those videos. Okay, so now I'm out of the car. So if you're out of the car, we get like 50-ish, 60. That fluctuates a little bit here. Yeah, still feels really smooth with the higher frame more stable frame rate but still i can't get past that ui flickering hope it gets fixed i think like games in future they should all come with fsr 3 upscaling and frame generation it really helps out for gaming for handhelds especially like gaming handhelds Okay, I think I'll leave it here. So let's go back to my Steam Deck desktop mode and I'll show you how it's done. Welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is locate your game folder. 
Okay, I'm going to open up my Dolphin and mine's at home games Pacific Drive. Yours might be a little bit different. Okay, inside Pacific Drive folder, there's a folder called PenDriver Pro. Go in it and then binaries, Win64. This is where we're going to put our mod files. Okay, and I'm going to look at my mod files, which is in my downloads directory right here. And then look FC mods. And as of recording, the latest version of the mod is 0.10.3. That's what I'm going to use. Then I'm going to open up 220.zip. And I'm going to extract it to the game folder that I just mentioned before. And then I'm also going to open common.zip. And we only need two files from this zip file. We only need the winmm.dll and winmm.ini. So extract these both, which I already have in the game folder. So I'm just going to override it. Okay, that's done. Now open up your theme. Locate your game. Click on the gear icon. Go into its properties. Make sure you have the launch options. The command, which is wine DOL overrides equals quotation marks win mm equals n comma b close quotation marks space percentage command percentage. I'll leave this in the description so you can copy and paste it. Don't want you to do any typos. Okay, and then just play the game once. All right, we need to launch the game once to generate a file, a setup file. So this is the um, mod menu, the mod like window. It's hooking up with the game. So you just run it. That's okay. I'm going to press Alternate F4 right now. I'm going to quit the game because we only just need to run it once because once you play the game once with the mod, you get this file fsr2fsr3.config.toml you need this all right double click onto it go inside and we need to change fake nvidia gpu to true by default it's false you need to set it to true and because this is also an unreal engine game you want to change amd unreal engine dos workaround you want to set it to true as well all right by default it's also false so set both of these to true and then save it exit and then we can run the game again all right so let's run the game in desktop mode it works the same i showed you the game uh in gaming mode at the start of the video now i'm going to show you it in desktop mode it works the same you'll know it's working the mod is working when um you go into settings you've got the dlss uh, option because by default, you don't have it on the Steam Deck because we're using an AMD APU on the Steam Deck. All right, so now, you go to settings and you go to video. You can see here, DLSS. It's an option. It's because the mod is working. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please remember to like this video. It really helps out. And see you guys in the next one. Later.